Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations from Monday, June 17th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for this full moon in Sagittarius is I utilize peace consciousness to show up on purpose. I always debate if it's on purpose or in purpose because it feels like it's a mixture. So take it as you want it. In purpose, on purpose. Um, and happy full moon in Sagittarius. And this moon, full moon feels very important. Um, I've been meditating on what the message is for this full moon energy. And it basically coincides with what I have been speaking about all year in regards to Jupiter and Sagittarius. With this full moon, we enter our second eclipse season of 2019. Now remember, 2019 is bringing us three separate eclipse seasons, which is like, whoa, we got some lessons for ourselves. Um, eclipse seasons always bring intensity and change and downloads and major lessons. So this full moon energy is very important to grasp onto this energy <laughs> and let it take us through this time. So the lesson I get is like, the world is kind of like this right now. This is how we feel. They tried to bury you. They didn't know you were seeds. There's a lot of heaviness. It can feel dark. It can feel suppressive. This card, the Ten of Wands, it can almost feel like it's just, it's too much. And yet all of this experience that we are going through is helping us flower, bloom, grow. This stuff here, this is all the fertilizer. <laughs> the fertilizer for us to step into our purpose. The full moon in Sagittarius is reminding us that we have the opportunity to hold on to the light. We have the opportunity to utilize that peace consciousness energy, to utilize the lesson of Sagittarius and find the good, find the lesson, find the golden nugget, find the fertilizer. <laughs> That is helping us bloom. No mud, no lotus, right? The full moon is reminding us that there are things that we can drop. You know, that's part of the full moon energy is it's an energetic or a, an emotional at least uh, release point. <laughs> but it's also a call to release those things that are not bringing us at light and serving us on this path, those things that can be released. Because I do realize there are things on this path like taxes that may not bring you your highest joy and you cannot release those. But <laughs> it's about releasing those things that are no longer necessary. You know, we tend to hold on to stuff. We tend to hold on to the shoulds. We tend to hold on to other people's responsibilities that we think that we should take ownership of. And it's saying, if this does not bring you light, if this does not bring you joy at this time, these are the things to let go. Those are the things that are truly weighing you down. What is bringing you to that place of joy at this time? And how can you hold on to this approach? <laughs> Seriously, hold on to this approach as we move into our second eclipse season of 2019. This to me is of the utmost importance. Now I love the Sabian symbols. I love to read the Sabian symbols for both the sun and the moon. So the moon placement Sabian symbol, Sagittarius 25 degrees, is a chubby boy on a hobby horse. <laughs> um, the keynote is the anticipatory enjoyment of power one can only as yet dream of utilizing. But to me it's like, you know, horse, uh, the sign of Sagittarius is a centaur, which is half horse, but horse is very connected to the Sagittarius. It's like, Riding forward into your dreams. What are those things that light you up? They are there for a reason. I truly believe we are encoded with desires and dreams to help us move in the direction of our purpose. So this is important energy. Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what in the world feels like riding the hobby horse for you? The freedom of galloping into the horizon, into your future, into the potential of happily ever after. What is that for you? And where can you grasp onto that and move forward with that direction? However slowly it needs to go. I always have that slowing down part. Um, and I love where the sun is in here. The Sabian symbol for the sun energy, which I have linked here somewhere. Um, funny enough, I discovered when I was doing my patron video that they have two 25 degree uh, Gemini energies and no 26. But I'm going to read uh, the one. 
gardener trimming large palm trees, uh, bringing under control nature's power of expansion. But I feel like this is a call to, to call the extra. You don't have to be Superman. You don't have to be Superman or Superwoman. You don't have to be Batman. <laughs> you don't have to take on the world's evils, so to speak. What you need to do is show up on your purpose. What you need to do is show up in your passion. What you need to do is allow yourself to be lit up from within and let this guide you forward. And this full moon is reminding us of this. Me, the Sagittarius, is reminding you of this full moon in Sagittarius, this lesson to keep reaching for the light. We are heading into emotionally deep waters with these eclipses coming up. The first one being an eclipse in, in Cancer. That's a very deep emotional energy. There's going to be a lot of emotions coming up, not to mention a Mercury retrograde that's going to retrograde back into Cancer. Like, chances are old stuff's going to be coming up to be processed and felt and cried through, you know? So even through that, as we, you know, as we release the suppression, as we release these things that we've been holding on to, it's helping us grow as long as we can continue reaching for that light, which is fully there. Look at that full moon in that picture. So this is a very, I feel, important moon and an important lesson. I just want to say it's so easy to get bogged down in the everyday. It's so easy to get bogged down in the, it's not working, this doesn't feel good, I don't even understand what's going on, I'm so tired, I'm so worn out. We all have those feelings, <laughs> time to time, day to day. Where can you grasp the light that is working for you on your behalf at this time, including the light that is within you, guiding you forward? And this is your responsibility. <laughs> that is one of your highest responsibilities. And that you were not taught in school. And I am schooling you now that <laughs> that is true. Professor Mimi of the Stars <laughs> is reminding you of this deep, important thing. It is your soul's highest calling. Okay, so just, you know, passing on the soul's highest calling into the next, I guess I didn't give you the details. The full moon will be at 1.31 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 4.31 a.m. Eastern time. You guys, everywhere else can do your math from there. Um, and it is at 25 degrees in Sagittarius. So if you have anything there, this is an especially potent call for you to remember this, this seeded truth that is within you and bringing it forward, letting it flower, bloom for you. Um, through the day, <laughs> chances are we'll get a little full moon over feeling. I always get full moon over with a full moon. I'm like, I can't sleep up all night. And then it's like, oh, I need to sleep now for the next two days. So you may have a little bit of full moon over. We have the moon immediately shifting into Capricorn. Um, moon and Capricorn bringing us to that level of responsibility. What is your personal responsibility? Your personal responsibility is to show up in soul purpose, on soul purpose. That purpose is coded in you. Listen to the light of the desires that are pulling you forth. But do realize that with this Capricorn energy will come those shoulds, will come the people outside of you who know better. So be very aware of that. And sometimes maybe they do know better and sometimes they don't, you know, and be willing to listen and feel through with discernment and know that you carry the blueprint for responsibility within yourself and only you can really say what is right for you. Um, <clears throat> the only aspect we have after the moon moves in is a connection to Uranus and that's happening in the evening. So moon in Capricorn, uh, Uranus in Taurus, the trine. It's at five degrees. This is, I feel like it's some revelation, you know, coming through about some gifts that have been lying dormant. Do you not have any time to utilize these gifts because you've been filled up with so many of uh, others' responsibility? Listen closely. What are these gifts? What are these latent talents? What are these things that you used to like to do that you kind of put aside that are knocking for you? because you have so much to offer and it's time to start offering these things. Okay, so happy full moon in Sagittarius. Go howl at the moon, remember your primal self. I'm sure we'll be here with Padma howling. Um, <laughs>
Besides that, you can book a reading with me. I have my Eclipse readings. I know I have a few people to get back to. Uh, thank you for reaching out. This has been a busy weekend. But um, I will get back to you. Eclipse readings. For these eclipses, you can get them in video or do it person to person. Those are $44. Um, this is good information to have, and we'll go into the retrogrades as well. And we are going to be starting doing those this week. Joe is helping me with those. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. And you have the power, the power of your personal responsibility, the power within yourself to reach for the light in and through these lessons that are deeply, deeply fertilizing us. Okay, <laughs> so I'll be back tomorrow. Namaste.